Hi, this is Jim Blassingame, the Small Business Advocate. And if you'll give me three minutes of your time, I'll help you have the maximum opportunity to be successful in your small business. Now, I want to talk about a very special kind of small business owner. In America, there are 20 million small business owners who can be further classified as independent contractors, or ICs for short. These entrepreneurs are sole proprietors, consultants, freelancers, or anyone who works alone without a net on the marketplace high wire. When the person coined the term, eat what you kill, he was talking about this hardy group. On the scale that measures financial and professional risk with 10 being made in the shade and one being OMG, ICs begin with a 0.1 rating and 90% never get above a two. One of these ICs is Phil Mickelson, professional golfer. Mickelson is a very successful independent contractor, World Golf Hall of Fame, short list of greatest golfers of all time, and the greatest left-handed player. Lefty, as he's known, has won 40 PGA tournaments, including four majors, career prize money over $67 million, and annual endorsements estimated at $50 million. Just like other ICs and unlike NFL, MLB, and NBA players, Mickelson has no guaranteed contract. If he plays poorly the first two days of a tournament, he is cut and leaves without a paycheck. And if his poor play continues long enough, not only do tournament earnings diminish, but endorsements as well. Phil the Thrill has earned his wealth. Recently, this native Californian made news by voicing concerns about his state's increasing income tax rate that, combined with federal rates, conservatively put him well above the 50% level. He lamented that he might have to move or maybe even retire. If he lived in a state with no income tax, like Texas or Florida, his tax bill would actually drop more than $7 million. Many in the press were critical of Mickelson for his comments, saying he shouldn't complain since, after all, how many millions does anyone need? But this is America. We have the liberty to earn and keep as much as we can, the right to voice our displeasure when the government is taking too much and not apologize for either. Small business owners agree with Phil and Supreme Court Justice Louis Brandeis, who once wrote that while tax evasion is illegal, Tax avoidance is commendable. Mickelson's comments on high taxes were commendable, honest, and courageous. Too bad he later apologized. We've just learned the U.S. economy had negative growth in the fourth quarter. One big reason we may now be slouching toward a double-dip recession is because small business owners like Mickelson are shrugging in response to anti-growth tax and regulatory policies. Write this on a rock. A small business owner's motivation to take risks is in direct proportion to the level of government interference. This is Jim Blassingame. I'll see you on the radio or on the internet at smallbusinessadvocate.com.